Is it working? Is it working? Oh my god, it's working. Is it working? Yes. Oh, this webcam, hmm, is it good quality or not? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if anybody's here because obviously I had said six o'clock or well, half six. So, you know, so if what I'll do is I'll just wait around and see if anybody joins in. But I'm going to take this watch off because I'm sick of holding it. I'm sorry for anybody who was waiting for the half six start but i finished work late oh my god there's people hello people hi hi oh oh welcome to the second but technically the first live i hope we're all doing well oh i'm really tired sorry and i'm sorry for like coming on later obviously i was supposed to start at half six but i didn't finish work till late because it was super busy so by the time i got in and just had to sit down for a couple of seconds ah but yes i'm here and I'm barefaced and having the worst bout of mask me known to God. But I hope you're all well. I can see everyone. Hi, Misha. I've got Crystal. I've got those people. So I'm actually using my laptop and a proper webcam over my phone. I hope the quality is a lot better than before. Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry. Hi, Floella. I, I, I missed you all. Hello. Um, but what I thought I would do is um, I will show you a new eyeshadow palette that I got. And do like the first impressions try on everything like that. Now I did in my last video, which was my huge eyeshadow palette collection, I did kind of be like, I didn't really want this. And then I saw it in person and then I was like, actually it's really nice. Oh hello Ellie. Hello. Um so it is the Kat Von D Edge of Beauty Eyeshadow Palette and it looks really pretty. I don't know how well I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. It doesn't look like it's I don't know why it's all blurry, but and this is the other side. But I thought I would show you it and see what it is. Hello, everyone that's joining in. Yeah, give me a little thumbs up if you can see me. That I would really appreciate that because it helps me. Um, but yes, this is it. What it looks like, and the box is really weird because you think that the lid is going to open like this and have a, a deep base, but it doesn't. It opens up with the deep base at the top, and then that's it there. And just look at the palette. And that's what it looks like. Can you see that clearly? Yeah. And it was really the top, this red pinky shade here and this gold shade that caught my eye. And it, I just, it's so lovely. And I, I just really like it. And I love the idea that it's actually a recycled palette, that you can recycle the palette. So by the looks of it, you can go on boots and it'll tell you what to do. Um, but you can, by the looks of it, you can take this bit out here and then the rest is all cardboard, which looks really, really clever. And I like this like that concept i don't know about you guys but um i'll do some swatches they're going to be really bad because a camera quality and it's me i'm not very good at doing swatches but how's everyone's friday been yeah the gold's really good has everyone had a nice day has anyone been to work or anything like that i'm gonna get some swatches whilst i'm what do i do because i've got tattoos this is going to be hard um i'm going to just do them oh ooh, okay uh, i'm going to just do mm -mm, like this so fresh. So we've got the chocolate brown. I'm just going to go from the top. I'm no beauty news, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, these are the worst watches ever. Right, hang on. <laughs> I knew this would be bad for me. I'm terrible at doing swatches. Oh, uh, is everyone like from the UK or we've got some like overseas people? Oh, from the Cal from California, yeah. So you got it must be super early where you are. Super, super early. Hi, Nikki and Gabby. <laughs> right. Shall we just do some hand swatches? It might be better. Yeah. Also, of course, the one time I don't have any wipes. This is what I use to um, spot clean my brushes. Yeah, I finished work too, Denise. I, I'm so glad you're all here. <laughs> um, right, let's do these swatches. I'm so sorry I'm so bad at this. I'm going to just do them on the back of my hand. Oh, they are like, they're like, not, they're not like, well, I'm not describing this very well. They feel lovely. They feel powdery, but they're very, very pigmented. So this is the top three. Great start. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Alex. There he's gone. Just going to get my boyfriend to grab me some face wipes. Yeah, I'll just dab this in here. So I don't actually, the shade names are on the back, but I don't know how well they correlate to anything. 
Can you hear me okay? Is the sound okay? So I, I, I can give you, whilst I'm swatching, I can give you um, a little review of Beauty Sleep. So Beauty Sleep Face Mask by Lush is a super moisturising uh, face mask. Oh my God, these feel amazing, the metallics. Right, okay, hang on. Um, so it's good for... Oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Good for all skin... Um, better for more drier skin types. Look at them. Um, but if you are wanting a pamper, it's absolutely lovely. It's not vegan because it has honey in it. Let's start from there. Can you see? I don't know how well that swatches. Um, and it's got a little scrub in it, and it's just really lovely, and it adds a glow to the skin, like a glow from within. And I really, really like it. Um, and I, I finished my little pot from the kitchen subscription box, but I've still got some masks of mags, so I don't want to use it all up. Alex? Can you get me the face wipes from next door? Might be able to get some face wipes. One second. Sorry about this. Uh... Can I have the face wipes? Uh, somewhere. Sorry, guys. <laughs> bit of dead air. Nothing, nothing like a bit of dead air, eh? Should have been more prepared. Thank you. There we go. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Sorry about that. Right. The wipe is better. So it's a really, really lovely face mask. Sorry, so that's a, this is a rubbish review of a face mask. It's an absolutely beautiful face mask. Nice and moisturising. It's got 20-odd percent worth of gorgeous facial moisturiser in there. So loads of cold press essential oils. It's really, really, really lovely. And if you've not tried it, obviously, you can ask for a sample at your nearest shop. Um, or if you're ordering online, you can ask for the samples on there as well. I'm just going to do a couple more. Oh, I'm just going to do a couple more swatches on finger swatches. So that's the rest of the other shimmers. So pretty. That black is amazing. So I'm going to do two different eye looks, if I feel like it. And do a full face and cover some of these, these break up, breakouts that I'm doing. Break up? Breakouts that I'm doing. So... I thought I've got some Kat Von D stuff. Uh, I don't have Kat Von D foundation because they all they all kind of don't really suit my skin type. I don't know about about you guys. What foundations are you using? Um, at the moment, I'm really enjoying the Maybelline Fit Me, and I actually really like the Primark foundation. It was like three pounds, so it's like really good. But other than that, I can since Urban Decay discontinued the Naked foundation naked skin foundation i've not been able to find like a foundation that i truly 100 love so i'm just going to put this here and i like to do my eyebrows i like to do my eyebrows first normally but what i've started to do is at the moment i'm getting in with the uh, trends and using like soap brows and i do have a bar of pear soap so if you are doing soap brows pear soap or any sort of bar soap really really good but i've seen this as well this is pink honey again is this, is, that, is this shown clear? Because it's, it's a little bit blurry on mine. I don't know how clear it's shown on yours. But it says pink honey on it, and it's um, honey glue tint hold color cube. So it's supposed to add a bit of a tint to your brows. I personally don't find it actually does tint my brows. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to spray <clears throat> the brush with a bit of water. I've just got a little bit of setting spray here. Just a couple of little spritzes. And then you're supposed to, because it's got a little hole in the middle, and you're supposed to like swirl it round it's in the instructions for 10 seconds. But I just go up and down. I just jag it all the way around. It does come with a little spoolie, which is very cute, but I find that it's too long for the for the jaw. And then you're supposed to then brush your eyebrows back up, um, so and then stick them down. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, Oh, so I got into Lush when I was about like 13 or 14 um, and <clears throat> I walked past um, the shop, the old shop that Newcastle had and if anybody doesn't know where I'm from, I'm from a place called Newcastle and um, the, the the kind of catchphrase that we use is Lush, like we say things are Lush. So I thought that the shop that I'd never seen before was a Geordie shop so I was like oh this looks cool and they had like 
I've never seen presents like it before. They looked like presents from Home Alone, like under the Christmas tree. And it was just amazing. So I was like absolutely captivated. So the first, I think the first thing I, I, that I remember buying was the glam rock haglet. That's the first thing I remember buying and like using. And then, hi Melody. And then after that, I think the first bath bomb I had was Space Girl, which is my favorite bath bomb. But I remember smelling Marbar in the shop and not liking it at the time. But now I love it because obviously it's honey, I wash the kids in it. When you're using this um, brow product, you're supposed to then like pat your brow down. So what I've been doing is I like to brush the soap through my brows the wrong way. And actually, I think this is the best this brow actually I've done so far. Um, brush it through the wrong way so it kind of coats it on both sides. And then just slowly like brush it up and then I always have one brow that's better than the other my friend Hannah calls these like wolfy brows because like they look like wolf and then I'm just gonna bring that up obviously you can knock that down and then and then what I do is when I do like the kind of the glued down brows I let these set come on I'm reading these comments, sorry. Uh, yeah, it is quite a, a quite a <laughs> um, it is quite a strong shop if you if you're not used to it. Obviously when you're in it all the time like I am, you don't you kind of get used to the smell and it doesn't really bother you. It doesn't really bother you. Oh, thanks for all the comments. Right. So yes, that's me brows sort of done. I feel like sometimes when they're really like pushed down, they look a bit weird, but it's all right now. Okay. How do they look? Okay. So I'm gonna let them set and dry down and then I use a brow pencil just to like fluff them up. So that's what I've been doing recently where I've been like doing my brows last and actually I've quite enjoyed it. I'm gonna Take some P. Louise base, using this a bit more, kind of getting a little bit more used to it. So I'm going to use this uh, to kind of do a base. I don't like to put too much on. I watch these people on Instagram using the P. Louise base, and their eyes are literally like wet with product, and I just I just can't do it. Like your brush gets all minging. So I'm just using a flat concealer brush, and I'm just doing that. But yeah, has everyone been doing their Christmas shopping? I, I've done some, but I've, I've made the fatal error <clears throat> of where I've bought stuff for people, put it to one side, forgot I've bought them it, and then I've bought them something completely different. So now, I mean, I suppose I've got them now with some birthday presents for next year, but it's well annoying. Oh, I, I just go for it, mate. I just literally, I just go for it, Michelle. Like, if it doesn't go right this time, this is the first time I'm doing it. I am, um, I look a bit strange. This is the first time I'm doing a proper web, web like using a proper webcam and, and, and doing it properly. Because other times I used to do it on TikTok on my phone. Um, and I just didn't think the quality was very good and it was hard to like keep up. And I think now because I've got the chat down the side, I can see it a bit better. But yeah, um, so in terms of Christmas shopping, it's a bit of a nightmare. I do do this thing like a little bit where I just bring what's ever left over my brush and I just bring it up up here and just kind of just blur out the lines. I don't, again, don't like too, too much product and I bring it out up here as well. It's always going to, you're always going to get a bit of creasing. You're always going to get a bit of creasing. Also, why do people spend so long, like, going underlining their brow? I'm not sure he didn't take that long to do. Oh, thank you for... <laughs> ah. it's been, I've been thinking about this all day and, like, hoping that it all goes okay and that people can see me okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I might do, like, something like this, like either every Saturday or every Tuesday, just like a little 
a little chit chat if that sounds like something that people would like I don't know if people can listen to me for like a full hour and a half or however long it takes to do an eyeshadow look I don't know okay I think I think that's because I don't I don't uh I normally off on a Tuesday that's quite good right okay eyes primed ready to go I feel like that excess off put that back I've honestly I've had to rearrange my entire desk to try and make some space for the laptop because laptop's huge so I'm going to dive in and I think I'll do like some nudie nudie kind of looks you know see what happens now I find with P. Louise base that obviously when you put the colour down it kind of like locks in place so I like to just kind of have to move fast ish. No, I've got all the brushes that I want. I had to clean like spot clean like loads of brushes before I came on. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take I don't know what the shade names are. Oh that's annoying. The palette does that thing where like you've got to like move it back. So if you just go if you just want to close it, it doesn't like fully close. Right, what we got here? Um, oh, I'm not even going to bother saying the, the, the names. They're just ridiculous. But I'll just, I'm going to kind of work these two lighter shades here, not the two, and then we'll go from go from there. Because I don't actually, sometimes shades don't always look the colour that they're supposed to be. Right, so I'm going to, oh, there's a lot of kick up in the pen. Which, again, I'm not too bothered about. What happened? So has anybody been buying any new makeup, any indie brands that I should know about that I can try? I'm, uh, I'm very interested in trying new things. I did, I just, I did buy loads of stuff off ColourPop from Black Friday, so I'm waiting for that to come. Do you want to see a haul of all my ColourPop stuff that I've, uh, that I've bought? Because you know what you need when you are in lockdown and you have to wear a mask. Loads of bloody lipstick. Right, so I've got this one here. And I'm going to... I like these little unicorn brushes. They're cute. Back from Unicorn Cosmetics. I'm just going to blend out the edges. Oh, are they very similar in colour? No. Hmm. These are very quiet. Right. I think this is going to be a super soft look on this eye. So then I know what will happen. I'll end up just doing more and more and more. I can't help myself. Is there anybody new watching? Anybody new? So there's that. So I've just used the lightest shade and the second from lightest brown shade. And then I'm going to add a little bit. Of the, I'm going to get my eyeliner. Give me an eyeliner. I'm going to use this brown eyeliner. This is an Esquito eyeliner. I got this in PR. Hi, Meg. Yay. New people. Hello. Oh, there's some people leaving. I must be a little bit boring. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but I got this in PR. It's really nice. It lasts a really long time. But I will say it does dry down quickly. You can't do like a lot of smudging with it. And then I'm gonna just do some of this darker brown shade just in here. But yeah, that was just my Christmas shopping tale before. So now I've got like too many gifts for the same person. And I don't know what to do. Because everyone else I know doesn't really won't really use the thing I bought. Are they blending well? Are they blending out? Okay. I don't know if you're allowed, I don't think you're allowed to have any background music because I was like, some places don't mind a little bit of background music. I don't know, I don't think YouTube will. There we go. Does anybody use Twitch? I don't get Twitch. Like, I tried to like stream on it ages ago and I don't fully get it. 
I feel like such an old person. I'm like, I don't understand. Right, I'm going to take that wicked gold shade and I'm just going to lay it down on my lid. Oh my god, it's so nice and it's really creamy. Can anyone see that? Oh my god, it looks amazing. I never used to be as well a person to apply stuff with my fingers. I was very much like a brush. But fingers sometimes is better when it comes to like laying stuff down. Oh my god, this gold this gold colour is unreal. And I don't think it's picking up how nice it is on camera. It's kind of got like a, a green shift to it. It's almost like a dual chrome. Oh, this is nice. I'll take pictures and I'll put them on my Instagram. Then people can see what they look like. I'm going to have a little shimmer I can put on the brow bone. I think that's what else is nice. Well, actually, I might be able to put this on the brow bone. Oh, it's too good shimmer, but it's just a... Oh, shit, that's a nice, that's a bit off-white colour. That's nice. Oh yeah, dead quiet. Has anybody got any questions that they want to ask me whilst I'm doing my makeup? Like anything at all? Because it's nice, obviously, it's when you're just like chatting to yourself. <laughs> I don't know if people can hear me okay. But if anybody's got any questions about anything, lush, uh, makeup, I don't know, anything, just ask us anything. Ask away. Uh, buh, buh, buh. That is such a nice goal. Oh, that's what left right. And then I think on the other eye, I might do something a little bit more smoky. Smoky, smoky. I've got a black eye there. I should do. I've got, oh, yes, it's definitely here. Yeah. I'm going to do make it off this grey, like, because there's a grey shade, which is lovely. So I might put the grey on. No, not yet, not yet. Um, I really wanted the I believe in Snow Fairies jumper, and I think it sold out before I got my hands on it. Did you get anything? Um, and I really want the tote bag as well, and I should have asked for it for Christmas, and I forgot. And then I got all my lush stuff that I wanted for Christmas, which was just some Space Girl body spray. I do like all the swags. I've got a lot of patches actually that I've not, that I've not done anything with do you know what it is i've not done a silver eyeshadow look in so long oh see you later tune tune black and white army tune tune see you later thanks for thanks for stopping by <laughs> You have a good night too. I need to bring this up more. Oh, this is what I mean about P. Louise. Sometimes like it can just like stick and then you can't blend in a nightmare to like blend out. Oh, I'm so jealous that you got like the hoodie and stuff. Yeah, loads. Like, oh, I think all the ones I wanted just sold out. So I'm really jealous. I'm pleased for you, but I'm really jealous because I, <laughs> I wanted stuff. But yeah, some of the stuff's really hard to get. Did you get any of the patches? The patches are so cute. I just dipped into the wrong. Does anybody do? I hate dipping into the wrong one. So right, so soft the bend. Mm. These are just going to be some really easy eyeshadow looks because I am so tired that I am not doing anything too fancy. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe on the next one. Maybe on the next one I'll do um, something a bit more fancy. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use the black, the sparkly black on the outer, and then maybe a little bit of the. Do you want that? Do you want the purple? Mm, purple clean. And then I'm going to put this, this yeah, the dual chrome print, print, 
pink with the black. Yeah, I, I, what I'll do is, once I've done my makeup, I might dive into that cover and try and find the patches that I've got to show you them as well. Black, 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 black. No, I've got purple. Oh, man, I need to clean these brushes. Sorry about all the noise as well. I've got the window open for some, just to kind of, I don't know about you, but in times like Newcastle homes, a lot of condensation. I'm just going to take one of these brushes and just do some sparkly black. Oh my God, there's a lot of pick up. I've got a lot on this brush. Ooh, could this be a mistake? You could, um, I, I, I would recommend iron them on and then maybe doing some sewing because I know some of the girls at work have ironed theirs on and they last for a while but then they do ping off eventually so I would maybe do a bit of both. Iron them on and then just put a couple of little stitches in. Nothing crazy but a couple of little stitches. What am I doing here? Doing something weird. Um, just to kind of definitely secure it into place. I like this black, it's very nice. But I do need to do what am I doing? I'm doing something that I'm not used to doing, which is doing my makeup on camera. I think I internally panic because people are watching. Oh, I had a really lovely day. Thank you very much for uh, for for ask, well, for saying that and and asking if I had a good day. I had a lovely day, and I hope you've had a good day as well. For Christmas, I'm really looking forward to eating lots of food and just being at well. I'm obviously being at home, like and when we've been at home because of everything that's going on. But just eating lots of food and uh, presents. I would say obviously spending it with family, but we're not really allowed to obviously see family, so. Looking forward to the Zoom call that we'll probably have later on. Um, and maybe, ooh, a Christmas quiz. We might do a Christmas quiz or something. Because um, we normally have, like, I normally do, like, have my parents over. Then we'll go over and see his parents. And then, like, he has his family down, um, traveling down. And it's just, like, it's just, like, I don't think we're just going to obviously be able to do that this year, which is a shame. Okay, I'm... Um... I might bring this out. Oh, let's just bring it out. See what happens. What are you looking forward to for Christmas? Everyone, I, I, anybody who doesn't say presents, I think it's a little bit of a fibber. I do like I do like a present. It's not the only thing I want, obviously, but uh, I do like a present. Have I just butchered this? I think I've made this a mess. <laughs> Oh well, we'll see what I can do. We'll see if I can bring it around. This is what I mean when I was in that eyeshadow palette collection, talking about how when I use like greys, it can go muddy. Internal panicking. What's everyone asked for for Christmas? I feel like this year is so weird. I feel like there's nothing like I mega want because I'm not gone on holiday or I'm not looking forward to going on holiday so I don't really like need loads of stuff also like there's definitely been that like lockdown treat yourself kind of attitude that I've had like oh well no stuck at home why don't you get this instead treat yourself right I'm gonna put on a sparkly bit of my finger I think these would definitely look nice on top of like a black shade as well. So I'm using like the pink sort of dual chromy colour. I might put some over the top of this as well. Just a little bit extra pizzazz. Yeah. Oh, have we got anybody new joining? Because I can feel it and like seems like there's more people on than before unless i'm mistaken so i'm going to the brush oh actually that's why i'm better with the brush maybe 
I'll show, what I'll do is I'll show you the pan and what it looks like because, like, you, you feel that you're kind of digging into them a little bit. Oh my god, am I digging into them already before I've even, like, fully had a go on them? And I'm going to pop a little bit of this lighter shade, maybe here. Is that doing anything? Oh, a little bit. A little bit, not a lot. I don't think it was worth it. Worth it. Right, I'm going to put some foundation on. Then we'll finish up. I like to do like I like to put my um my foundation on before I do my under eyes. So because if I get fallout, oh, is that the right? Why do I do that? Oh, so that I can bring the foundation on that. Yeah. My goodness. Right. I've got a little bit of concealer, so I'll put a little bit on. I've got some sparkles everywhere. Maybe hide some dark circles when I've got them being tired. I also bought yesterday. Um, the Fenty cream blushes that that there that came out the other the other month um, in an orange shade because I was going to buy the new made by Mitchell cream uh, blush the blushes or whatever they're called um, but does anybody else do this when the postage is like a little bit higher than what it should be and you're like but why are you charging that much and it's not even recorded? So his postage was like five pounds or something. And I couldn't understand why, because it didn't seem to like show it like recorded or anything like that. So I was a little bit like, um, even on seven, eight pounds, I'm not going to buy them. But they do look nice. So anyway, I was in boots yesterday and I was like, I am going to get one of these clean blushes. So with me saving, call it Christmas saving. Oh, this is almost finished. And I'm just using the shade 105 because I'm super pasty. But I've got like combination skin. This is supposed to be for normal to oily skin. I've got, I would say combo dehydrated skin is actually pretty good. And I feel like it, it for like the price point, it keeps me like shine free, but without feeling super like all moisture sucked out from my face. Because the this one here, which I'm going to show you, does not work. Oh, I got this. This concealer defined uh, foundation. This is just isn't showing very well on camera. Isn't that great for my skin type? It's like got amazing coverage, but it is so drying that sits in all my lines and it makes me look like a really like like a like it gives me like um wrinkles because it's sitting in all my lines. And then the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. I don't rate that one for dry skin either. And I remember Alex being like, oh my God, why do you look like an old lady? When I was walking, and I was like, oh, thanks Alex, I'm walking to work. What can I do about it now? I'm just using a, a brush over a sponge because I was just so unprepared. I uh, didn't wet my sponges. Has anybody got any other questions? Or anything you know, that they want to ask or talk about. I mean, Alex have been um, for TV series. Is anybody like? Is anybody interested in any Netflix ones? I mean, Alex just started watching Titans. And that's pretty good actually. I was quite impressed with that. Cause normally, like the superhero um, series are not very good. Like they're kind of like poorly, like not poorly acted. They just I I can't stand like the the. No, not the top line. I would say yeah, the way that they're acted. I don't. I don't like the the yeah the characters. But Titans is really good actually. I really enjoy that. Right. Let me wipe my hands. Thanks for uh, sticking with me in this. I don't know what this monstrosity is on this eye here. It actually there is grey further up, but I don't know how well you can see it. It's not sh obviously showing very well on the webcam, so it looks very dark. A little bit of grey than absolute like light like light white. So I'm just gonna try and maybe put a little bit more of this kind of lighter grey shade up here just on the brow bone. I think it would have been nice if they had like a a brow bone metallic shade. Mm. Oh, these people are going by to all the people who were going. Right. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of black eyeliner. This is a sleek black eyeliner pencil. Very cheap. It is black, but it um I will say that it, it doesn't last very long on the waterline. It kind of just melts away. 
And then I'm going to use this very old Too Faced bronzer in milk chocolate milk milk chocolate light medium. Get that all over. Is anybody there? Or UK based? Can be anything. Or that shipped to the UK because I feel like the UK ones don't look that good. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. But I just feel like in comparison to like Ipsy and Boxy Charm, which we don't get, I would like something that's similar to that. This brow is wild. Why is it so like it looks so big on the on the compared to this one? It's, oh, I know why. Right. Bronzer on. I'm gonna use because I'm in a bit of a sleek kick at the moment. Hello! I'm going to use this sleek palette, which is really good. It's the latest palette, and I've had this far too long. I've had this for like 20 billion squillion years. If yeah, if you can, if you like, want to ask any questions for all the new people who are joining back in, um, just leave a little comment down below. I'll talk to you about pretty much anything. Um, where is my? Oh, there it is. My brush. And I'll just do a little. Oh, is it all orangey? Actually, I've got a Kat Von D blusher. Where have I put that? Oh, there it is. I'm doing really, really well. Um, just been at work, just come back home. So I'm a bit late starting the live. So thank you for everyone that's sticking with me and also for putting up with me for being a bit late. Um, I'd say my advice for starting on YouTube is do something that you're passionate about and don't worry about being all fancy and just like, I'm still learning how to edit and I'm not very good at editing and I just talk about things that I like and um, if you watch any of my earlier videos, like my really old ones from years and years ago, I literally just did them by the like this really, really weird webcam that I had with really poor lighting and I was very nervous and I, like, even though I was in my own room and I was nowhere near my parents, I would like talk really quietly so no one could hear me because I was like really like embarrassed and shy that people might like, see my videos hear them but now I, I don't care who sees them uh, more than earlier yeah. you can all join through oh that is a a line of a sharp line um and but i would say obviously use your phone because like most like iphones and android phones nowadays have really good cameras but don't use the front camera use the back camera because that has the best pixels and you can get like a cheap stand like this to pop your phone on or your camera on and just have fun um and if you've got iMovie you can use them to edit i know like um lots of my um my like my friends nieces and nephews when they make their like home movies and stuff like that they just use iMovie but have good lighting have good lighting don't just use like a lamp that's in the shape of a mushroom <laughs> that was what i did to light you up because you end up with like a weird hue so yeah good lighting talk about whatever you want Something about that you're passionate about and just have fun. And um, yeah, that's all I do. I just talk away. I mean, I've been on here for nearly 40 minutes. And I've done this. I mean, look at this. I don't know what I've done here. Anyway, I've got the Crush on Blush highlighter and blush thing, uh, blush set. And it's very nice. This is a very chunky blusher. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's nice. And it's kind of like a I don't know, it's like it's got like a pink reflex and it. it's very pretty, it's very odd. Now I want to put some blush on this side. I'm gonna do the same blush on each side actually. And I've just I've taken to bouncing blush on my face. I wear a lot of blush, I don't care, I like a lot of blush because I don't really top up my makeup throughout the day. Um because I don't like to bring like loads of um stuff with me to work so I put as much stuff on as possible so it'll last me throughout the day so if you don't like wearing loads of blush obviously you don't have to put loads of blush on and yes I do wear perfume I wear lots of perfume my favorite brands for perfume are um uh, Lush obviously uh Diptyque uh I like Paco Robin. um what's the other one 
Who else do I like? I like Alex and Avon perfumes, actually. Cheap and cheerful. Yeah, right. I, right. <laughs> when I uploaded that video, when I was editing it, I actually had to, to trim a part out because my reaction was so loud. Oops, I put quite a bit on my nose there. was so loud that it distorted. And I actually, for the rest of the, um, of that like reaction i had to turn it down because it was so loud your ears would have exploded uh but yeah i was like so shocked because i've been saying this to like my colleagues at work for like two three years like i'm surprised that they haven't brought out a body scrub like they need to bring out a body scrub and obviously then when they started doing the subscription box and i was doing like more regular youtube videos and i've been saying like bring out the scrub, bring out the scrub, and then they brought it out, and I could not believe it, it's just crazy that they brought out the scrub, and I'm just buzzing, has anyone tried it yet, has anyone used it yet, I've used mine, not all of it, and I can definitely smell the cherry infusion, I don't know about anybody else, I'm going to take this Avon Lisa Armstrong brow pencil, and I'm going to just quickly sharpen it, but yes, I can definitely smell the cherry infusion along with obviously the the snow fairy smell so the cherry bits are actually quite nice i do wish there was more salt in it because i like a thicker scrub if you remember um i like the consistency of cookie dough but i like the scrub of magic crystal if you know what i mean yeah i'm all about that snow fairy sweet 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 so what i do is with um salt brows is no um normally with normal brows i would like to underneath on uh like underneath to about here then on the top to about here and then i would like gently fill it in and then i would use the spoolie to like spoolie in just to soften it through but with soap brows it kind of because your hairs are pushed up it kind of creates a texture and i find that if i just very lightly just uh go over it it kind of like you know when you do like um when you're in like primary school and you um, get a piece of paper, a crayon, and you do it over a bit of bark. It's a bit like that. That's the way I can describe it. So I just fill in my brows very lightly. I will say the only thing I don't like, and I know this is obviously because it's like the soap brows, but I like to um, have a sharp tail. So it's very, it's unusual for me to have a kind of a stumpier tail. So I do try and bring it down a little bit to have a, a more defined tail on my on my brows yeah just bling it blinging i'm bringing it through no, I'm just... no, i think the only reason why i'm a bit like hesitant about the soap brows is that i don't like how you can kind of see like the skin like because obviously i i've like um prime my eyes god that my my teeth back here i prime my eyes and i've gone like like that underneath my brows but then you can still see like the skin poking through mm. oh i mean that's not very nice right i'm going to i'm just going to warn and now um if you are rude to anybody again i will boot you out so like this is your first warning like i will boot you out if you are rude because there's no need for nastiness like we're all just having a little chit chat and things like that so say like be nasty one more time and you're getting blocked off this chat okay there's no need for it we're all just having a nice time and just everyone's just asking questions and if you have a question, please leave it down below. But like, don't need to be nasty to people. Let's all just be nice, okay? Thank you. Um, well, I'm just literally going to do The other brow seems to be a little bit softer feeling. Like, not as um, hard <laughs> as the other one. Because I've put a lot more soap, I think, in the other brow. So it's a little bit more, it looks like a little bit more of a... A fuller version of my normal brow. How do I do this? I don't like anybody falling out and I don't like people being nasty. Right. 
We'll do a little bit more. There we go. Oh, go look, there's my brows done. Brilliant. And I'm just going to sort this out. Oh, we've got eight people. Who are all the eight people? Hello. Hello, new people. So if you're new, leave a little comment down below. Like, um, if you're just joining in now, leave it down below. Right, okay. Not allowed to go, I promise. Right, so now what I do is when I do my eyes, I when I do my under eyes. Oh, hi, Jonathan. Hello. What lush stuff have you got coming tomorrow? I see all the advent, like the advent calendar looks so good. Uh, yeah, sorry. So what I do is with eye eye pencils, is I like to line the waterline quite a few times. I can't tight line at all. I can't literally tight line waterline whatever at all. And can you see? I don't know how well you can see, but the sleek pencil is like pretty much like melted away. So that's annoying, but. I don't. I like to top up a few times anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then like do underneath my eyes. So a little thing that I like to do um, is I like to um, use whatever left over on the brush to do the underneath the eye, so that it's not like super intense, and then you can build it up a little bit as well. So there, uh, what we got here. Um, ooh, other brands that I like what body care brands or makeup brands. Because I, I love makeup so much. Oh, cup of coffee face mask. If you've not, have you had it before? Because cup of coffee face mask is honestly like some of the nice. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Dark eyeshadow. Get a little bit underneath here. Um, cup of coffee face mask. One of my favorite face masks that Lush do. Uh, body care. So I like. Um, I do like the body shop. I'm not gonna not say I don't like it. I do like the body shop. And I do like Bath and Body Works. That's like my new thing because I found I, I finally found the shop when I was in America last year. So I like Bath and Body Works. It's very strong though. It's very fragrant. If you have sensitive skin, it will literally kill you because um, it's really really strong. And I like uh, Big Bath Love. They're really nice as well. Nice stuff. And they're like a little indie brand. Um. Oh, it's very scrubby, Jonathan. It's very invigorating. And in if you've got any dry flaky bits, you ain't gonna have none left after you use it. I really like it. And actually, if you accidentally get a little bit in your mouth, it tastes quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice, yeah. And then what hair care did you get? What hair care did you get? Now, what did I use? I used this. I'm going I'm, I'm to go for it. You know what it is? I'm going to put, I'm going to bring the black down under here. And I'm going to smudge it. And I'm going to use the black sparkly underneath. Oh God, have I made a mistake? I don't know why I do this every time. I don't know, oh no, it's blended. It always happens, it always happens. Stop. Okay. I think next time what I might do is I might actually just use the black batter base instead of the the white one, like the, like the skin tone one, and then that way it might um, be a bit better. Make it pop a bit more. I feel like this is missing. Like, can I put, would this be all right in the, in the corner? Mm. It's not very silvery. What am I put on the inner corner? Ah! I'm just getting a liquid eyeshadow. What's that? Oh, I didn't want to. Yeah. I'm getting the jelly one. The jelly one with the shallow slime, what do you mean? Oh, I don't want that either. I don't want that either. Hold on. I should be more prepared. Why am I not prepared? If you like chaotic lines, this is the place for you because it is. Oh, it's right here. That's fine. See what I mean? 
This is the Rude Cosmetics Star Party Liquid Eyeshadow in Star Child, and you can get this from Boots. And it's, I think it's like £10, and it's like the Stila liquid shadows. They're really, really lovely. I do have a silver cut on day shadow, but I don't know where I'll put it. I'll just go to that in the corner. It's kind of got like a pinky base, which is quite nice for kind of wearing pink on the lid as well. Oh, because you're getting like the set that has the jelly in it. Yes, now I get it, now I get it, now I get it. Oh, hi! Hello! Now I know what you mean. Sorry, I was like, eh, shower jelly? <laughs> yeah, I was very tempted by one of those snow fairy kits, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going I feel like that is like really popping, like on the inner corner, like you can really see it. Like, really, really see it. Right. The, the lines look very harsh, like on this camera, like that looks like, like that, but it is blended out. But I feel like I could blend it out a little bit more. Why not blend it out a little bit more? I will say, like when I'm looking at this palette, like I use the top, the top right shade, which is for all the people who are joining in, I'm using this Kat Von D palette. So I use this shade here on my lid and it's kind of, I didn't use like any primer or anything like that. I just used my finger straight in. And it is very muted. Maybe I should put a bit more on. And I feel like it could be a bit more of a wow. So maybe I just need to um, pop some, maybe some primer glue on, some bit of glue or something like that just to hold it in place. I do think it needs like a shimmer, like a silver shimmer to like do brow bone. Like, because you've got a, can I put a champagne? I'm going to just put a champagne one on here. See what it is. Stuff it, I'm just gonna put it on up here. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna look nice or not, but I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it, guys. Oh well, exactly. <gasps> you found candy cane lard. Oh my god. I that was from my so that was from my first Christmas working at Lush and I love the smell of it. Did I ever get any? I don't think I actually ever bought any. Is it rock hard? <laughs> so, for anybody who is interested in this palette, I actually got £7.60 off it because it's currently this in boots. Certain premium brands like have up to 20% off. So, KVD has 20% off. I think Benefit has 15% off and some other things. But yeah, you would feel like it has a bit more wow. This, I don't know how well you can see it again. The gold is amazing. The camera isn't picking up how spectacular that, that gold shade is. And I think the gold shade is why I bloody bought it. It's so nice, but you can't see how good it is. I mean, you can see it's shiny, but you can't see the reflex. So I'm sorry. But yes, it should totally... Oh, so jealous. How much... Did you get a big chunk or just a little one? So yeah, I need to... I, I put the washing machine on. So it's spinning, like, I, put, I spit it on this morning, now I'm spinning it, so I'm going to put it in the tumble dryer, because it's, yeah, well, obviously it's night time, you don't put wash now at night time, do you? Right, okay, I've got, carrying on with the Kat Von D thing, I like to put on, I don't know about anybody else, I like to put on all my powdery stuff first before I put the mascara, so my mascara is the second from last thing that I put on, because I don't like the idea of powders going onto the mascara and making it all, like, gross and minging, so I'm going to use... I put blush on, which is the crush on blush one. I'm going to put the highlighter on. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to use this blush here. Like I say, it is a, it's a little bit like the duochrome shadows that are in this palette. It's very um, chunky. Well, I'm all right with that. But it's nice. Have I put too much on? Probably. I don't put highlighter on the center of my cheeks because I think it can sometimes look like you're a little bit sweaty. Uh, and I've only... I would say, oh god, I only say like in the last year and a half have I even put highlighter on my nose because um, it kind of goes against all the things that I learned when getting into makeup was like you don't put like highlight on your nose and don't put it on the side because it makes you look shiny. But yeah, the highlight is really good and that's it. The crush on blush one, I don't know if they still sell it from Kat Von D. I, I, I don't think I've ever get used to saying KVD Vegan Beauty, but I don't think they still sell it anymore. But if they do, have a little look and they've got some cute little gift sets and stuff like that i actually really like the perfume i've got this the, I mean, you can't see it i don't know why i'm pointing but i've got the cinna perfume no C 
same perfume and it's really, really lovely. And, well, I'll get it because it's got a good mister on it. I'll let you see. If anybody, like JC, if you're also here, perfume, KVD perfume, but it's got an amazing mister. Listen, listen. Oh, so good. I'll just get some on now. It smells really nice. It's very light, lovely. Oh, well, you might as well save it and use it and enjoy it. Then it going all kind of hard. Did it come out in 2017 as well? Did it have two Christmases or did it have one Christmas candy cane rod? I can't remember. I feel like it might have had two. I don't know. Anyway, mascara. I've got the Go Big or Go Home mascara. And I have to say, as a big as like, this is like the try me size. So you get like in gift sets and things like that. This is the best format you're going to get the, the, eyesh the eyeshadow, the mascara in. The, the full-size KVD mascara is terrible, but in the tube, it's so much better. Favourite look? Um, yeah, KVD, sorry, KVD Vegan Beauty is ridiculous. Why did they just say KVD Beauty? It's in the name. Kendall Vegan, yeah. Why didn't they change it to KBB? Kindle Vegan Beauty. And then it could have just been KBB. And that was all they needed. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Uh, favourite Lush perfume. Mm. So, I would say Vanilla Reef. Um, Vanilla Reef, Tank Battle, Grass, I would think. Oh, and I actually really enjoy American Cream. And then Body Spray, I really like... Uh, the olive branch so they do do a perfume from the olive branch called pansy um which i really like yeah so it's this is what the the try me one is so it is in the tube and it's quite good because you can kind of squeeze it if you think that it's getting a bit old and i got loads of these and then i opened a few of them and i should have marked them to see which one i've opened first so i took a couple of them away and uh, Beauty Bakery does a mascara in a tube, but it's not very good. It's not the best mascara, um, unless they've changed it and reformulated it, but I don't think it's the greatest mascara. But it's got a big wand. Uh, and I like a big wand when it comes to the mascara. I'm not putting lashes on. It is too late for lashes. I cannot be bothered. I'm too tired. <laughs> right. What does everybody what does everybody class as a coat? So like for me, like this would be one coat, even though I'm doing like multiple like bits over it. But I would say this is one coat because for me, like a like a second coat would be like me putting it back in the tube and getting it. So I would be like, I've only done one coat, but really it, it might be like three or four. I don't know. Have you tried the scrub? Yes, I have tried the scrub in the box from this month's subscription box. Um, I was just saying before, I think just before you joined in, I really enjoy the smell of this scrub because obviously it smells like snow fairy. So for what I'm talking about, it's the snow fairy scrub in the Lush Kitchen subscription box. It smells so good and you can really smell, in my opinion, the cherry infusion in there. Maybe it's, maybe it's my batch, but I can really smell the cherry in there. All I would say is that the scrub is very loose. Uh, too loose for my liking. I like a scrub. If I had to choose a scrub from Lush texture, I would like the uh, I like the texture, like the, the the scrubbiness of Magic Crystals or Scrub Scrub Scrub. But I would like the texture of Cookie Dough Body Scrub. I like a thick scrub. Like for me, my my all time favorite scrub and my all time one of my all time favorite brands that I love is um soap and glory i love soap and glory as well and soap and glory for me i really really love the the uh, body scrubs and they i think have some of the best body scrubs ever but i do like i love orange scrub as well orange scrub smells really amazing but i think it's a little bit a tad loose i just wish it had like like I was saying in one of my videos, I wish it just had like a tablespoon more salt in each pot. Hang on. 
Uh, DC, I have done a perfume con- well, not comparison, but I've done a body spray, a lush body spray collection, and it goes through all the scents. And then I've also done a lush per- little perfume collection. When you say com- compare video, do you mean like comparing brands like lush versus high street or uh, diptyque versus lush or something like that? Because I'll be honest, I only have one diptyque perfume. And that is the oud perfume because dipstick perfumes are very expensive. So I did smell one in London at the start of the year that I really liked, and I was like, oh my god, I need it. Um, but maybe when I save up some money. Ah, uh, that's thank you very much for for finding me. It's really good. I was just saying a little bit earlier. I don't know if you saw Lina, um, but I might try and do a regular live, like either on a Tuesday or a Saturday, because I don't normally work a Tuesday or a Saturday. So I'm thinking maybe a Tuesday evening. And obviously then I can just put it all back for people who watch. I feel sorry for the people who are maybe watching this who are like, what is going on? What are these questions? I don't know. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So I've done eyes. I've done face. Things I'm going to do next is lip. And this is a teeny tiny studded kiss lipstick. Oh, thank you so much, Hayley. That's really, really sweet of you. Thank you for uh, stopping by the live as well. I'm nearly finished. So if you've just started watching it, I'll, when I upload it, you can um, you can peruse for all you, all you want. It's mainly me panicking about doing things wrong, and it's very just chaotic. But yeah, um, this is Lovecraft love, love uh, lipstick, and it's like a nice moldy nude. And I accidentally, for some reason, bent it. I don't know how well you can see how wonky it is. Can you see how wonky it is? I don't know. Uh, but it's a really lovely lipstick. And I do have, I do not recommend anybody doing this, but I do have the end of a cold sore. So um, never put lipstick on when you've got a cold sore or anything like that. Um, because once you get a cold, you have to chip it away. But like, I don't use this on anyone. It's just for me. And like, it's the end of my cold sore. So it's just like the scab. So yeah, I just wanted to say like I do not recommend like putting on like lip stuff other than lip balm and stuff like that and coleslaw cream just because obviously you don't want like the bacteria being spread around on brushes and on your lipsticks and stuff like that. It's a bit like if you've got conjunctivitis, chuck away the mascara and get, get yourself a new mascara. Okay, yeah, this is Can you see how wobbly it is when I'm doing that? Great. I have quite thin lips. I do all the line a little bit because I have thin lips, but I don't go too crazy because I'm not the best at putting lipstick on. <laughs> this wobble is driving me insane. Uh, Oh my god, right, don't bring it up too much or my god's gonna break. Has everyone seen the new Lush Naked Lipsticks that are in store? And the glow stick and the eyeliner. Okay. Lipstick on. Oh my god, is that not going all the way down? I have defo broken this lipstick so bad. Is that completely wrecked? Oh no, there we go. I haven't completely broken it. Oh, thank you very much, Lena. Um, the do you color? Yes, I color my own hair at the moment. I do normally get the hairdressers, um, to bleach my hair. So I was very bad when I was younger at like bleaching my hair and dyeing my hair and like destroying it. And that's another reason why I ended up really loving Lush as well because, um. One of the girls I work with now, she was some of the uh, one of the lush staff that I spoke to when I had really damaged hair and helped me find some lovely things to help it. But as a general rule, I do get the hairdressers to dye and colour my hair. And when it's just like the the crazy colour, I'll do that myself. But when it's like the bleaching because I damaged it so badly and it took me about two two and a bit years to grow out all the damage, I do like to leave it in the hands of a professional. But obviously lockdown has been pretty bad so when lockdown lifted I managed to get my hair done and then obviously then lockdown happened again and I was I'm very lazy with my hair like I 
you do not keep on top of it so I will let it go out really really quick like really really badly before I next go so it was due to be done anyway and then the second lockdown happened so I did have a box of bleach so I just I just did my roots and then I did the the dyeing and if you haven't seen I did a I used the shrine drop it and I've done a video on that and it's showing you how to use it and things like that and what I thought of it I'm definitely going to do it again because it actually looks quite vibrant on camera I'm going to eat oh my god how matty does my hair look uh, but it looks quite the blue looks quite vibrant but it's faded quite a lot um but I'm going to do it again and I'm going to put in a lot more drops to make it darker so it lasts longer and I know as well and I said in the video my hair was quite brassy when I bleached it um so I'm thoroughly aware that like if my hair was a little bit whiter it would have taken maybe a little bit better um, so my favourite hair care products, um, so when I had really dry damaged hair, this was before one of my all time favourite conditioners um, has came out now, my go to was Daddy O Shampoo, which is a purple shampoo because obviously I had kind of blonde hair in between like colouring it like crazy colours, and American Cream Conditioner, because it, it smells amazing, but like it's a double strength conditioner, but now I would hands down choose Candy Rain over american cream i feel like it's more moisturizing for my hair it's because i've got like fluffy hair like it's like it doesn't look too bad now but it, it gets quite big with humidity and um it goes frizzy and wavy and i find that candy rain kind of really smooths out and it smells so good and it, like makes my hair smell amazing for ages i do have in here a, a pot of goddess hair moisturizer that one of my uh, well, two of my friends from work uh, got me when they went to Liverpool and it smells like goddess perfume and bath bomb and it's like the lighter version of R&B or as it's now called Revive um, hair moisturiser and it's got in it it's got oat milk in it like R&B it's got olive oil coconut oil jojoba oil and then it's got lots of like things to make your hair smell nice and a little bit of cup of wax butter and candelia wax and avocado butter i find it lighter i still don't think it's 100 percent right for my hair type if i'm being honest i think it's still maybe a little bit heavy but like but not in the in the way that i like it to be heavy and then my favorite hair mask from Lush is hishwan wen hui i've been using that for over 10 years and that was one that was recommended for my really dry damaged hair and it, and it makes your hair feel like a normal person's hair so like not completely wrecked i absolutely love it um, if I'm being honest, I'm like my I prefer the liquid conditioner to the solid conditioner bars for my hair. Um, I prefer the new style of solid conditioner bars to the old ones because I feel like you can get more like product on your hand and you can get it in your hair more. If I had to use something as a solid conditioner, I would use avocado core wash over a conditioner bar but I, I just like the I because I use a lot of conditioner in my hair. Like I use a conditioner every time I recall in the shower like a hair mask so i like to squirt those out that's why i like candy rain and um, the product is called hishwan wen hui and i think i say this different every time so it's spelled h apostrophe s u a n w e n h u a and um, hishwan wen hui um hair mask but yes what i'm going to do is i'm going to say goodbye uh thank you very much for all of you watching uh today i really really appreciate that and i will see you in the next live okay and if you've got any questions or anything like that just leave it in the last video that i've posted and i'll like come back and i do have my empties that i'm going to um like put up like edit and put up in the next couple of days but yes i'll see you all i thank you so much um I've, i'm sorry if i feel like i'm cutting you short but i'm getting a bit hungry now i want my dinner <laughs> I'm so I'm starving now. I wasn't hungry when I came in. I don't know about anybody else who works in the shop, but sometimes it can get really hot and sometimes you get too hot for eating. But um yeah, thanks so much. And um for anybody who's just joining in now, you can um what re watch this and watch the both the looks. So this is a gold smoky look and you've just got a silver and pink look. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much guys and um I'll see you maybe next Tuesday. Yeah, I'm off on Tuesday. So next Tuesday, around about half six. And I will try and get there for half six.
now that I know how to work the, the webcam and things like that. But yeah, 